Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and in this follow along, I want to show you how to register um, or book your uh, GitHub certification exam. So what you're going to want to do is go to the GitHub certifications page, and you can do that by typing in gh.io forward slash certifications, and it should bring you uh, generally here. I've never done this booking before, so we're going to learn together, but it shouldn't be too hard. And the first thing we'll want to do is register. I want to point out that if we go down below, we can see our certifications to get additional information, but I'm going to go ahead and register here. And I actually already have registered and the process is connecting your GitHub account um, uh, to here. So my steps might be slightly different, but more or less is the same. So you might have a, a page where it's gonna pop up. It's gonna show you that you have to confirm um, a connection and go ahead and do that. And you should end up in here. And so in here is where we're going to see um, uh, our exams. And so we have GitHub Actions, GitHub Administrator, Advanced Security and Foundations. I'm interested in the foundations one, so I'm gonna go ahead and click into that. And just understand that this price may change based on, um, you know, based on uh, if they change the price down the road, but right now it's priced as 99 USD because uh, this exam is so new at the time I'm shooting this video, it actually has a discount of $49. So you might not get that. Um, it might just be 99 USD dollars, which is still very affordable, but just understand that, uh, you know, different times means different results. Let's go ahead and schedule this exam. It's through PSI. So if you've ever done a PSI exam, that'll be pretty straightforward. So we'll go ahead and schedule and take our exam and we have information to fill out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all of this and fill out my information and click this button and then I'll show you the next step. So I just don't want to expose other information. So I'll see you back here in just a moment, okay? All right, so I click through there and now it's gonna want me to um, accept the uh, PSI test taker site to my GitHub account. I'm gonna go ahead and authorize this. I'm just gonna stop and start again just because I'm not sure if it's gonna show personal information. I don't really feel like uh, um, emitting it. So I'm just trying to do that. So I'll be back here in just a moment. I'm gonna head, go ahead and click that green button. There we go. And it's brought us over to the PSI online store. So this is a familiar experience, at least for me. Let's go take a look at and see the uh, available tests. Um, you know, sometimes there are tests that are online or are on site. These days, everything is both. Uh, right, right now, I cannot take these ones. I'm not exactly sure as to why, as I'm pretty sure the other ones did not have prerequisites, but maybe GitHub changed it and you need to have the foundations before you take these ones. That's totally fine. I'm just clicking into this and see why that is. The test requires authorization from the test sponsor. So maybe since it's so new at this time, it's not going to allow me to do this, or it could be that it is a prerequisite there, but what we'll do is go back here and click on the foundations and notice that we have 99 USD. I'm gonna go ahead and continue booking. Actually, I'm actually gonna click back there because I think there was a, a deal. You're pre-approved, uh, you're eligible for this exam until 3, 12, 24. Not exactly sure why it shows that message, that's totally fine. So we have online proctored and on site. I'm gonna go ahead and go to continue booking. Um, we have some information here. Uh, please don't call me, it doesn't go to me. Uh, it's just annoying, okay? so. Do not call my phone number. We'll go ahead and hit continue. I might even go wipe that out so it's less of an issue for me. I'm gonna go ahead and type in Canada. I am in Toronto time. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in Toronto. That's uh, US East uh, standard. Um, and we'll go ahead and hit find. And so now I'm looking for an available time that I wish to book. Um, so, I mean, I could book it today. That seems a bit crazy. Um, do I want to do that? Am I crazy enough to do that today? Um, maybe. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna book my um, uh, mine tonight for 9 p.m. I know that sounds really crazy, but I'm gonna do it. We'll go ahead and choose 9 p.m. Make sure your time is correct. You're gonna have an issue there. I'm gonna book this time slot. And now I need to fill in my additional information. I just happen to have uh, a voucher code here. Um, just understand that you know you may or may not have it, but I just happen to have it because I'm lucky. But we're gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of the information, continue on. If the review information has personal information, I might not show it, um, but uh, we're almost there. So I'll be back in just a moment. I just wanna quickly show that you have two options, credit card and PayPal. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my credit card in and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I'll see you back in a moment. All right, so yeah, here is my confirmation. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this. So it looks to be good. Make sure you confirm the time and uh, make note of the time that you have to complete it as that is very important. Um, again, today is February 1st where I am. So that is the correct date. I'm gonna go ahead and click purchase.
and now my uh, booking is confirmed, it's probably a great idea to print your confirmation. A lot of times you have to prep your environment, so make sure you uh, set up your remote online proctored uh, system and do your checks uh, prior to this. So if you click that, it should install an app on your computer. Um, really make sure you do that ahead of time. With these exams, you should always have two pieces of government IDs. So think passport and driver's license. The reason I just tell you to have both of them is in case one is giving you a problem. Um, so just make sure you have both on hand. You really only need one, but if you go to an in-person uh, place, they might want to have two pieces of government ID. Maybe one that, uh, you know, sometimes it could be a health card, but mostly it's driver's license, passport. Um, it's gonna vary per country. But uh, yeah, uh, give me good luck on my exam and I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.